Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to utilize the features available with the undo change, redo, and repeat change buttons. Have you ever been editing a document and after you've made multiple changes to it, you realize, nope, I don't want those changes, I prefer it the way it was, but you can't remember everything you did to get to this point? Well, the undo button can help you get back to where you were. Did you delete a paragraph when you meant to delete the first paragraph instead? Undo can fix that for you. Or, oops, now you want to delete the second paragraph instead of the first paragraph. Well, redo can fix that. Want to add the name you just typed in other places within your document? Repeat changes can help you with that as well. So let me switch over to my test document and we can begin looking at these buttons. Okay, like I said before, Word gives you the options to undo, redo, and repeat your previous actions. For ease of access, these commands were automatically added to your Quick Access Toolbar. Now, I have my Quick Access Toolbar at the top of my page. So I'm going to go up here and I can see my options right here. The arrow that swerves to the left, that is my undo button. Okay, and to the right of that, it's grayed out right now because I haven't done anything for it to be able to repeat, is the circular button, which is the repeat button. Now this button is a contextual button and it will change to the redo button once I've done something. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple changes in my document so I can show you what the buttons will actually do. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna delete a paragraph. Now you see the repeat change button has come back. And what this will do is the last change I did, it will repeat it. So if I want to repeat the clear, it will do that for me. Okay, I want to take a look at the undo button first. If I click undo or I'm hovering over the button, you can see it's going to tell me the last thing I did and I can undo that clear. So if I want to put the paragraph back, I could do that. Now to the right of it, I have my drop down button. If I click that, it's going to show me all the changes I've made within this document. One thing you need to make note of, if you want to go back and make changes earlier in the document, say come down to my bolds and so forth, you'll notice it's highlighting everything above it. It won't go in and just pick that change you want to make. It's going to do everything above it. So that's something you need to keep in mind when you're working with it. So I'm going to do my first one, clear that, and it brings my paragraph back. I'm going to bold, make this red. Now if I want to take the bolding off, like I was saying, it's going to do everything to that point. So I'm going to come down and say bold. And you'll see it took both of those off. So that's how that works. So remember that when you are going through the list, everything that's highlighted, and you can see down at the bottom, it tells you it's going to undo all of those actions. One thing you're going to also notice now is I've got my redo button, which is the swerved arrow to the right. That will redo my change. So I'll redo my bold and redo my provides back to red. Now it's back to the repeat button. So I highlight elsewhere and hit the repeat button. It repeats the last thing I did. I had done the red and so it filled header with red. I can go elsewhere and continue to do that. Works the same way when I'm typing. So if I come down, let's go to the bottom of my document. So now if I wanted to add his name elsewhere, I could click elsewhere in the document and hit the repeat button and it will type it in. Now you have to be careful using the repeat button. For instance, if I wanted to add his name after device here, I click, I hit the space button and then I come up and do repeat it's repeating the space because the repeat button always repeats the last thing you did. So to review, clicking the undo button will undo the last action you did. So it took the space out that I had put by device. If I click the drop down next to it, it gives me the option of undoing multiple actions just by going down the list and selecting them. And again, remember, you cannot pick a previous action to undo without undoing the actions above it. The redo button or repeat change button is contextual. Depending on the action you did, it will either show it as a redo or a repeat change. Because I had just made a change within the document, it's given me the ability to redo. So if I hit the redo button, it puts the space back in my document. 
and these buttons have automatically been added to the quick access toolbar for ease of use. However, if you prefer to use shortcut keys, Control Z can be used for undo and Control Y for redo or the repeat change button. If you have any questions regarding these features, please leave a comment below or if you have any suggestions for other videos you would like me to do, please let me know. Thank you.